We've tackled lots of ways you can add years to your life, but what about taking years off your bottom? Well, we've got someone here who hopes to do just that, Tori. Hey, Tori, how are you? Come up here. Come up here, buddy. Okay. I've never seen someone, first of all, turn around because I want everyone to see your face. I've never seen someone this excited to get their butt kicked by Jillian. Aww. I know, right? You gotta well, you, you're looking pretty darn good. Tell me what's going on. I'm just turned 52. Oh. Hello. You look incredible. All right. But it's not like as lifted as it used to be, right? All right, I, I understand. Know. Okay, all right. So when it comes to your booty, you don't want to reinvent the wheel. Basics are always better when it comes to this. And I'm sure you're thinking about, okay, the obvious squats, lunges, and a stiff leg deadlift. Now, I'm going to demonstrate, but the real secret to getting that lift that you want is not necessarily the basic exercises, but how you perform them and how often. So, first things first, we want to add weight when it comes to lifting the tush. Don't worry about bulking up. You're not going to bulk up. That's a wives' tale. Travis, you're going to do deadlifts, so you get the 20s. Now, everybody take a look. All right. You're going to put your feet about hip width apart, okay? okay. And then you're going to slowly hinge at the waist, give yourself a slight bend in the knees, okay. just a soft bend, and the soft angle bend. of the legs don't change. Okay. Now, with a flat back, you want to go all the way down until you feel the stretch. Oh, we have some disco music Oh, I for you. love disco music. And then music. come up and squeeze. Okay. Now so keep squeeze, going. Squeezing the tush? Yeah, don't stop. How's now, my butt look? Your butt looks, it still looks flat, <laughs> but if you do more of these, it won't look flat for long. Keep your belly button pulled in. You're, no, you haven't even begun. Belly button's pulled into the spine, and eyes stay forward on the floor. Don't stop. Just keep rolling through that. Now, okay. you, my little darling, are going to do, uh, I'm sorry, you are going to do squats, okay? okay? Now, take a hold of your weights. Don't right. stop over there. Don't okay. stop. Just keep going. All right, engage your arms. All right, now, if you want to, you can work the shoulders at the same time to get a little extra burn. Hold your arms 90 degrees. Now from here, your feet are gonna be a couple inches wider than hip width apart. And I want you to sit backwards and down, way down. Yeah, go as low as you can so your thighs are about parallel, then come all the way up. Good, range of motion is key. Keep going, don't stop, keep going. Okay, now all the way up. Now check it out. The farther down you can go till you get those thighs parallel, the better, all the way up. And when you're doing your squats, make sure that you don't bring your knees over your toes. Keep going, good, good, good. Nobody stop, I wanna hear people screaming. Now, the next move is gonna be a basic lunge. I'll do this one for you. You can engage your arms up here if you wanna work their shoulders a little bit. Step forward and press back. Now the feet are still hip width apart. As you don't stop. We're not. We're not. Travis, are you can stopping? Can I do squats now? Please don't. No. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Lunging, okay, also works the tush. Don't forget to alternate legs. And when you lunge, don't do this. Really bad for the knees. So you want to bring your legs into a 90 degree angle as you lunge. Keep going. <laughs> With the knees over the ankle. And, all right, you can both stop. Now here's the key. Variety is really, really important when it comes to your workouts. So for the first two weeks, go ahead and do four sets of eight repetitions, okay? Then you're gonna do three sets of 12 repetitions, and then you'll do two sets of 20 repetitions. So two weeks, four and eight, then the next two weeks, three and 12, then the following two weeks, two sets, 20 reps. And as the reps go up, the weight comes down. There's really no wrong way to do this. The idea is the more you change up your routine and the more you mix and match those weights, sets, and repetitions, the more your body is going to be forced to change because it constantly has to adapt to the new stimulus. Makes sense. And what do you think? Do you feel it? Starting to work. I definitely feel it. Already? Like, I feel it. Like my like, arms are starting to do you. I like your little. You know, you know, I'm still a little tight, but now I'm ready to go. I like your swagger. And, and you know what? If you didn't write all that down, we'll have a link on our website to Jillian's tush firming workout. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. You're awesome. You're a good boy. Thanks, Jillian.